We want to take a look in this video at metric and imperial conversions. You are going to need a calculator for these metric and imperial conversions, so if you don't have one, uh, pause, pause the video, go grab one, uh, and then come back. So when we deal with metric to imperial, and we've done metric by itself and imperial by itself using this whole concept of factor label uh, to do the conversions, and we're going to use the same here. I think it's easiest for you just to remember that in one inch there are 2.54 centimeters. So in one inch there are 2.54 centimeters. And converting between metric and imperial, the reason why you need a calculator is because in order to get it exact, you can see this 2.54 is not a nice number to deal with. So let's take a look at a few examples. Let's convert three feet into centimeters. So if we're going to convert three feet into centimeters, we know we have to get three feet into inches first, and then we can convert from inches into centimeters. So using this whole method of factor label, which again was first introduced with imperial conversions and then done again in metric conversions, and now we're going to use the same method. So we begin with the quantity that we're starting to, uh, that we're wanting to convert. So we have three feet. And now we multiply that by, and we want to get rid of feet and replace it with inches so that we can go from inches to centimeters. So I want to get rid of feet so it goes in the bottom, and I want to replace it with inches so it goes in the top. And now you put your conversion factor, and in one foot there are 12 inches. And now you can see that feet, the units of feet are cancelled, and we have now inches. And so now we can go and get rid of inches, so that goes in the bottom, and we can replace the inches with centimeters. And in one inch, there are 2.54 centimeters. And now again, you see the units of inches are gone, and we have our desired unit of centimeters. And so now, we take everything across the top and multiply it, and any numbers that are in the bottom, we're going to divide. And all the numbers in the bottom are 1 in this particular example. So we have 3 times 12 times 2.54, and so we get that 3 feet is equal to 91.44 centimeters. Now when I said you needed a calculator, you don't need a calculator. You could do it by hand, but that makes it a much longer process. And the concept here is being able to convert back and forth. So if we take a look at another example, let's convert 1.7 meters into inches. So again, using the factor label, we have to take the quantity we start with, we put it over 1, and now we want to replace meters with centimeters. And I can sketch out the whole thing here, and then I'm going to want to replace centimeters with inches. And you see, before I even put my, my factors in there, I can just deal with my labels. And I have meters, top and bottom, so they're gone. Centimeters, top and bottom, so they're gone. And I'm left with inches. And now I put my factors in, and I know that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. And I know that there are 2.54 centimeters in one inch. And so now, what we do uh, when we're going to calculate this is we multiply everything that's in the top, and then we divide everything that's in the bottom. So I have 1.7 times 100, and that is equal to 170. And then I divide by 2.54, because that factor is in the denominator. So now I divide by 2.54, and I get approximately 
nine three inches. And you see this real, the real number here is 66.92913386. So this is really an approximation, uh, but it gives you an idea of pretty close. If we go, if we go to the nearest hundredth here, uh, we get an idea relatively close uh, what, what the conversion will be. And if we get a little bit harder yet, and if we have two feet plus 12 millimeters plus one meter, and if we want to convert all of that into, uh, let's say we want to convert all of that into inches. So now we're going to have to do three separate conversions. And if you look here, we have two feet times, and I want to get rid of feet and replace it with inches, and one foot has 12 inches. And so now I've converted my feet to inches, and two times 12 is 24 inches. And now I've got 12 millimeters, and I know I need to get to inches, but I have to go from millimeters. I can't go from millimeters directly to uh, inches. I have to go to centimeters first. So I'm going to get rid of my millimeters and replace them with centimeters. And then I'm going to get rid of my centimeters and replace that with inches. And you can see that my labels are all right here. My millimeters, top and bottom, are gone. My centimeters, top and bottom, are gone. And I'm left with my final units of measure, which are inches. So now I put my factors in, and one centimeter has 10 millimeters, and one inch is 2.54 centimeters. And so in order to convert this, I'm going to take my calculator and I'm going to say I'm going to go 12 divided by 10 and that's 1.2 and then I'm going to divide again by 2.54 and I'm going to get 0 0.47 inches. And now I have one meter and so I'm going to have to go from meters into centimeters, and I'll do this one a little bit more quickly, and then from centimeters into inches. My meters, top and bottom, centimeters, top and bottom, inches are my final units, and my conversions here are 100 centimeters in one meter and 2.54 centimeters in one inch. And so now I take 1 times 100, that equals 100, divided by 2.54, and I get 39.37 inches. And so now my total measurement in inches will be 24 plus 0 0.47 plus 39.37. And when we add those up, either manually or with a calculator, we get 24 plus 0.47 plus 39.37. We get 63.84 inches. And I haven't done kilometers and miles and so on. With measurement, typically, you're dealing with feet, inches, centimeters, and meters. So that gives you a refresher on converting between metric and imperial units.